Welcome. It's uh, it's not going to be a newsy episode because I have somebody special with me who is going to share my free speech today. Courtney Sampson, who is the provincial electoral officer of the Western Cape. Am I right? That's correct. Yes. It's a long title. <laughs> it's a long title, but a very simple task. A very important task. Why are we here now? We are here now because, as you can see behind me, there are two dates. Around the corner, the 9th and 10th of April, which is the final registration date for our upcoming municipal election. First of all, I need to know, you must talk out of, out of shock now, what is the IEC all about? Well, we are one of the Chapter 9 institutions that has been uh, put in place in order to ensure the strengthening of our democracy. So That's gonna, what the Constitution expects So from you're us. not run by the good guys? <laughs> it's very important. Uh, uh, I have not been in, offered a job. Independent, yeah. Yes, I have been here since 99, so it's pre cooked up. Yeah. Oh, pre cooked up. So I think that the important thing is that our specific task in strengthening democracy is to ensure free and fair elections, Tani. That's the most important thing. Free and fair elections means we all have to be involved, means we all have to do more than just go and make a little cross. We have to register. Now, I would like to know why, if we've got ID books and if we've got addresses, we've got all the things we need, why must we still register on top of everything? That's an important question. One of our political uh, analysts raised that point. He says, if it's a right to vote, why must I register? The registration is the key to getting your name onto the national common voters' roll. So we've got a national common voters roll in South Africa, and we can only vote if our name appears on that national common voters roll. So registration is your key to get your name onto the national common voters roll. If you've registered once, then it's our responsibility just to make sure that the details and the information that we have about you as the IEC on the voters roll is still as it should be. And is it complicated to register? That's one of the most simple things. Oh, nothing you, is simple, Courtney. Uh, look at us today. Know, if you look, if you if you if you simplify matters and you look at it in its uh, simplest form, then everything is doable. So this is a very simple thing. You go to the uh, registration station. You take with you your ID document, and that could be one of three documents. Could be the green barcoded ID, yeah. or it could be the uh, smart card that we use. Oh, yeah, the Nivedang, eh? the Nivedang. Yeah. Uh, or it could be a um, temporary uh, identification certificate, which is issued by Home Affairs, but it must be valid. So, if you've had your hi your car's been hijacked with all your documents in it, you can still go and get a yes. paper to make you uh, register on the voters' roll. Absolutely correct. Yes. So, what do I do on the 9th and the 10th of April? I just have to arrive there. At what is there a certain time? Yes. We'll be opening uh, the registration stations at 8 and we'll close them at 5, unless there's still people who want to register at the, at the registration station. So we are asking people to come for three reasons. Mm -hmm. First of all, if you've never registered before, this is your opportunity, because we're taking our electoral officials to where the people are mm -hmm. and making it more accessible. Yeah. So you come there and you register for the first time. If you're 16 years old, you can already register in South Africa. That's Vakabiki. If you're 16 years old, you can only vote from the age of 18. Yes, absolutely. But at 16, you can register. That's this is new great. information for me, and I think many, many young people are inspired by that. Great stuff. I, I was wondering because you're way above 16 already. So. I am just over 16. <laughs> But I think at the end of the day, yeah, I think that's what we're saying because that's the age by which we must have an ID in yeah. South Africa. Yeah. So we're giving people an opportunity. If you got your ID, get your name registered, you're on the national common voters roll, you know, we've got your information. When you turn 18, you can vote. Now, how can somebody of my age who registered, who's voted in each election so far, can you believe it? I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. But how do I check that I'm still on the roll? There are a few ways. I think the most important thing is what we're doing on the 9th and the 10th of April. We're giving people an opportunity to come to the registration station and check their details on the National Common Voters Roll. So if there's any doubt, then you can check and see what your details are on the on the voters roll. But can, can you can phone? Can you phone in with the yeah, number? Did there, I see something like that? Your number is 0800 11 8000. You know, there is a, 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 a SMS where you send your ID number to 32810. 
Um, there are different ways you can go onto the website and check it out. So I think we've tried to make it as easy as possible. Mm. But the other category of person who must also go on the 9th and the 10th are people who have moved house and have new addresses. Because addresses are becoming very important, you know, for us in South Africa in terms of the national common vote as well. And you might find yourself in a new ward or a new voting district. And remember, this is a local government election. So mm. you, I so in Darling, if I'm in Darling, I vote for the municipality of the Swatla. There you go. And if I'm not in Darling, can I still vote then? What happens if I'm in Pretoria? That's yeah, the in problem. Hunting? You know, you won't be able to exercise a vote unless you are in that voting district. But remember. We do also have special vote days beforehand. So if I know so I'm going to have to put the curtains up in Kandla, I can make arrangements to vote earlier so that I'm still voting correct, here. Yeah. It's not perfect. I think it's a day or two earlier. But we'll have the voting stations open so that people can come. And you have to apply for it. You know, it's not something you just rock up for. You have to apply for it. And uh, once you, your application is approved, that's what you do. Now, how? Can I get hold of somebody if I'm suddenly realizing that I would like to vote and I want to get involved and I need some advice? Is there some place I can phone? Can we phone you? The 0811 number. Is that the most important communication that number is, we that have? Is, I think that's the easiest one and you to know, for people just to get And to remember involved. those dates. Saturday yes. 9 and Sunday 10th of April. There you go. Voting can only happen if you're registered. And I have always said something about this election coming up this year. The municipality is the front garden. The provincial government is across the road, and the national government is up the hill. So you know where our priorities lie with our municipalities. Don't give me Scott. Well, thank you, Tani. And you know what we mean. Evita, Evita, always on the scene. Evita, Poseidon, Evita should be.